Kelly and I were on the call. It was an exciting game, a one-point game in which Clemson won at 60 to 59. Could be in store for another good one as Ruby Whitehorn gets us started here underneath extra well. Getting in the top nine means you don't play on the first day. You get a bye. It's very important. Both coaches were emphasizing that to us in shoot arounds. Harrison hits the three. When I talk to her, I feel like I learn about basketball. She's very cerebral. She's very calm on the sidelines. She gives me professor vibes. They like what it's been able to do for them. And Coach Butler told me, she said, we kind of had to pick. I want to get really good at one thing, not just decent at both man and zone. So they picked zone. Gets Wake Forest back on top five to four here in the first quarter. Her opinion with the drive. She's got four. Malaysia Douglas handling the ball there. Coach Butler already dipping into the bench here in the first quarter. Deanna Gaines spins, fires, and gets a friendly roll on the road here. Deanna Gaines. The Deeks were very effective getting the ball to the high post. Samuel was a big part of that, so that's got to be a point of emphasis. Hannah Hank hits the three, the first made three of the game for Clem. But they played well, especially in the second half and hit some big threes. So it feels like Clemson's feeling good from that game, even though it was a loss. Olivia gets it into Olivia Summy. There's Summiel again, knocked out of her hands. Good defense from Perpignan. And Sam, on that time, Summiel got the ball at the high post. No one moved. All four white jerseys around her stood still. They've got a little more movement. And Jewel Spear is that lethal combination of an absolute knockdown shooter. Just continuing that conversation on Jules, she said when she came to Wake Forest that she wanted to leave a legacy and make her mark on the program. She's already done that, but she continues to build on the legacy, Kelly. And it can be a serious problem for the opponent. You got to fear the spear. Another three ball. Just like that, an 8-0 run for the Demon Deacons is ended by N.O. Enyang, who just kind of bully her way to the basket. We have already seen Notre Dame go down earlier today. Duke with a big, big win there as Brie Perpignan right down the lane. Harrison takes it into the paint right on the ACC logo. Comes up short. Good offensive rebound by Tamira Hines. She does that with the best of them. Samiel hits the three. I'm very curious because we've talked about Clemson sticking in that zone. The zone is what they do. As the Deeks shoot like this, if they continue to shoot like this, does Coach Butler consider getting out of that zone? Spear, mid-range is good. Jewel Spear has a lot of tools in the toolbox. Where's the box out from Clemson there? Harrison with the pull-up J, no good. Tamira Hines again on the O boards, puts it back up. They've got to be better on the offensive glass. Largest lead of the game for Wake Forest here on a 6-0 run. 22-17 as Scruggs has four points here in this second quarter alone. Everything was there but the finish. That was perfect. Get the ball to the short corner, hit a cutting guard, but you got to make that layup. There's a five-point swing. You miss a layup on one end, Clemson gets a three on the other. Foul was on Michaela Elmore, her first. Right back door cut by Elise Williams. And an even better find. Four turnovers in the last four and a half minutes for Wake Forest. Still with that six-point lead. As we near halftime, there's another great cut in the zone by Kaya Harrison this time. Now, Wake Forest has seven offensive rebounds. They rank last in the conference in offensive rebounding. They've really been active on the O boards as Amari Robinson gets her first points of the game. And that time on the block, Amari turns around, hits an easy jumper. I love that positioning for her much more than the elbow extended. Demira Hines powers her way to an and one. Those numbers are certainly down this year. And when she's on the floor, this is a different Wake Forest team. Jumper for Robinson and a quick four points for Amari Robinson, the leading scorer. The Deeks having that second quarter woke Clemson up and, and maybe some choice words from Coach Butler to have, Sam, just respect those. That's what I was going to say. I'm sure that Coach Butler had some... Ball in the hands of Spear. Five to shoot, gets it into Williams again on a backdoor cut. Beat number nine, Notre Dame, 57-52. So, I mean, it's just uh, everybody's... Getting beat up here in this conference. That is going to be the question. Perpignan and the block from Demira Hines. Spear, hesitation, gets to the low post and finishes. Another backdoor, Redwell by Amari Robinson there. Was able to 
get it out and up to Hayes who lays it up and in. We've talked about these backdoor cuts. Scruggs trying to direct traffic. Amari Robinson read it well. And a good pass to Gaines. Imagine how cool it would have been to take that class, too. I know, right? right? Wow. Starting the fourth quarter here, Alexandria Scruggs. Douglas takes it in. Short jumper is good. Alicia Douglas having herself a pretty nice game. Made a three earlier. And I think just best offensive player overall. And then for Wake Forest, Jewel Spear, it feels like it's a matter of time before she hits a few threes in this fourth quarter. A lot of threes, and that was just the third made three of the game. For Pena trying to go two for two here, and she does. In the fourth quarter, a couple of huge baskets. And a Hank cutting right on the logo and hits in a Hank. That's how Wake Forest is going to turn their offense on a little bit, getting, it, getting a couple stops on the defensive side as well. You read my mind, Sam. They can get stops, but they're going to have to make something happen offensively. Oh, oh, oh. And when you want something to happen. And shot clock winding down here. Perpinian from the elbow. Top shot and a top make for Bree Perpinian. Bree Perpinian has delivered. A shovel pass there. Scruggs couldn't handle it. Whitehorn on the floor. Three on three going the other way. Perpinian dumps it off. Robinson up with the left hand. Wake Forest able to break the pressure here. Where does Wake go to to get the offense? Where do you think, Sam Rabbit? Jewel Spear, corner three. Yes! Spear has that much confidence in herself as she steps back to knock down that three. Four made threes for Jewel Spear. She's got 22. Nice post move from Robinson. Quiet. Didn't have any points in the first half. She's got eight here in the second. Spear. Transition three. Oh! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Gets open. Oh! Jewel Spear! That's what she has done in a really short amount of time has made this game a game. Tamira Hines blocks it, and a shot clock violation is called. In the corner, Scruggs drives, has it poked away. Shot clock winding down. Somebody's got to get a shot off. Scruggs fading away, and it's! Between the shot clock and the game clock, Bree Perpinian with the ball. Robinson, wide open for three. No good. Hustle for the rebound, last touch by Wake Forest. Five left, Perpinian with the ball. Douglas, one dribble, a shot. No good, we're heading to overtime. A win at Louisville would be huge, a win at Miami would be massive when you look at their net, that win on the road. A lot of opportunities for Clemson. But it starts here. Sure does, Wake Forest able to break the press. Perpinian crossover, Williams got a hand in there. In Yang wide open underneath. How about the eyes and the vision for In Yang to find Robinson? So Jewel Spear has gone a little bit quiet since she made those three threes in the fourth quarter. Williams will try for three and connect. Elise Williams has eight points. Wake Forest feels like they just kind of pulled one out of a hat, out of the Demon Deacon hat. If you <laughs> nice. And so they feel a little more motivated and have a little more momentum for overtime. Tough make for Ruby Whitehorn, and they needed it too. Because I, I want you to put me at the free throw line. So how about this, Kelly? A chance for a what? 30-burger. Where's the promotion? Wake needs to institute <laughs> that. When Jewel Spear hits 30, everybody gets a free burger. Clemson could tie it with a three. Whitehorn looking to loft it underneath. Robinson tried to take her hands out. Ten on the shot clock. Three-point ball game. Williams trying to ice it, and it's blocked from behind. Tamira Hines with the offensive rebound. Ball still loose. Who's going to get it on the ground? She's got two shots and makes the first. Massive make there to make it a four-point game. Wow. Three-point specialist for Clemson. Trying to get it in. Amari Robinson double team. Wide open. Hannah Hank for three. No good. Clock winding down.